For several decades, scientists have been meticulously documenting minute changes in different finch species on the Galapagos Islands, an archipelago that's been referred to as a natural laboratory for evolution. How it started The initial hybridization event happened in 1981 on the Galapagos Island of Daphne Major, where evolutionary biologists Peter and Rosemary Grant conducted most of their research. They studied the group so closely that they noticed when a male large cactus finch, native to a different island 65 miles away, arrived on the island and began breeding with a local population. What happened Native females DID and T recognized the S of the new hybrid males, so instead of breeding with the local population as expected, the hybrids bred within their population. This paper shows that after just two generations, they stopped breeding with other populations and have remained reproductively isolated ever since. Taking off in most cases, the offspring of cross-species matings are poorly adapted to their environment, writes Rory Galloway for the BBC. But the large size of these hybrids has allowed them to exploit resources the native birds weren't using, so the birds have flourished. Go deeper it just so happens that Darwin's personally annotated copy of The Origin of Species is up for auction. The Guardian has the story. Head of communications for him in Sweden, Johanna Dahl, told Bloomberg him does not burn any clothes that are safe to use, however it is our legal obligation to make sure that clothes that contain mold or do not comply with our strict restriction on chemicals are destroyed. The Swedish plant has reportedly burned 15 tons of him clothing in 2017 thus far, 69% of the surveyed young farmers had college degrees, significantly higher than the general population. Why it matters this new generation can't hope to replace the numbers that farming is losing to age. But it is already contributing to the growth of the locale food movement and could help preserve the place of mid-sized farms in the rural landscape. Where it's happening in some states, such as California, Nebraska and South Dakota, the number of beginning farmers has grown by 20% or more. The millennials are far more likely than the general farming population to grow organically, limit pesticide and fertilizer use, diversify their crops or animals, and be deeply involved in farmers' markets. Riders have fled from the service before, but enough have stayed because of the Uber's convenience. This week the state of Colorado fined Uber $8.9 million for allowing employees with serious criminal or motor vehicle offenses to drive for the company. Then came the stolen data, which has touched off more government inquiries. Why It Matters polling by Brand Keys Inc., a New York-based customer research firm, found that, in 2015 Lyft passed Uber as the most trusted of ride-hailing brands, and trust in Uber has been eroding ever since. Israeli spies and counterterrorism forces had discovered that ISIS terrorists were working on transforming laptop computers into bombs that could pass undetected through airport security. That led to new U.S. and British restrictions on flights from abroad. The Israeli mission was praised by the American espionage community as a casebook example of a valued ally's hard won field intelligence being put to good, arguably even life-saving, use. Yet this triumph would be overshadowed when Trump revealed details about the classified mission to the Russian officials in the Oval. Why it matter fresh blood was spilled in Trump's long-running combative relationship with the nation's clandestine services. Israel would rethink its willingness to share raw intelligence, and pretty much the Entire free world was left shaking its collective head in bewilderment. Listen in. P.S. Paul Manafort took at least 138 trips to Ukraine between 2004 and 2015 while consulting for Russian and pro-Russian oligarchs. McClatchy's Peter Stone and Greg Gordon report as the GOP platform committee drew up party positions a week before the Republican National Convention. A plank calling for the United States to provide lethal weapons for Ukraine's defense was altered in a controversial and mysterious move. An American consultant in Ukraine said that, Manafort, had boasted he played a role in easing the language. Charlie Black, a one-time partner of Manafort's, says he remains baffled by the change. It was inexplicable to me that a majority of platform members would have taken a pro-Russian position on Ukraine. Black Friday has morphed from a single day, into a whole season of deals, so shoppers may feel less need to be out. Stunning stat analysts at Bain say Amazon is expected to take half of the holiday season's sales growth. AP reports that Hatchimals are hot. I've met tens of thousands of people and taken thousands of photographs, often in crowded and chaotic situations. I'm a warm person. I hug people. I've learned from recent stories that in some of those encounters, I crossed a line for some women, and I know that any number is too many. Some women have found my greetings or embraces for a hug or photo inappropriate, and I respect their feelings about that. I've thought a lot in recent days about how that could happen, and recognize that I need to be much more careful and sensitive in these situations. 
I feel terribly that I've made some women feel badly and for that I am so sorry, and I want to make sure that never happens again. And let me say again to Minnesotans that I'm sorry for putting them through this and I am committed to regaining their trust. President Trump took to Twitter early on the Friday after Thanksgiving worth noting this White House treats golf as a clandestine operation, never saying whether or not Trump is actually playing, so this is a rare bit of candor. Shoppers beware the brands that are likely to have the most phishing attempts this year are Amazon, Walmart, and Target, according to the Anti-Phishing Working Group. Clicking on false links from emails or typing in website URLs with slight misspellings, such as Walmart instead of Walmart, can expose consumers to ransomware or to unintentionally releasing their financial or personal information. The state of shopping 77% of Americans reported they had mistyped an address in their browser and ended up at a different site than they intended, according to the survey. 0.68% have clicked on a link in an email that has taken them somewhere else than they expected. Only 13% reported changing DNS settings on their computer and 11% on their wireless router. Tips, according to Gang Wang, assistant professor in the Department of Computer Science at Virginia Tech, avoid clicking on links that have been emailed to you to avoid phishing or spoofing scams. Browsing on sites with HTTPS, not HTTP, is safer, since criminals can monitor network traffic on HTTP sites and lift credit card information, for example. Shopping on mobile devices could be riskier than shopping on a computer, since URL bars are smaller and reading whether they are shortened or legitimate might not be possible.